but some things never change, never change. Oh, they say I should feel guilty and change my life. Hello, one. Welcome back to Fear Factory. I hope you're all having a good week. Let's hop right on in. Last time we ran into the little, little frame drop bump with the new uh, palette update. New palette update is really nice. We now have uh, we can stack palettes now. Oh, wow! What? Oh, I think my staff is loading in. Yeah, little things like that uh, is what the dev is also working on. Little little frame drops. Frame drops hidden in my stream. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's working very hard on the physics. Uh, it, last time when we moved around the, one of those pallet stacks, uh, we had some little bumps. I call them little because they don't mess with the gameplay. It's just you see little shocky, shocky images. It's fine. Okay, let's. Um, Okay, yeah, so what happened last time is that we we bottled two full tanks and I was making a new one. Th they were making, my workers were working on this one, then I started this one and because this one is in tank two and it goes by order and not by, you know, which one you made first, they started working on this one. Now they'll be finished today, but yeah, that's why we couldn't finish another batch uh, last time. Hops right in. Good pun. Good pun. I like it. I'm good, Gordon. Thank you. Farlight 84. Hey, Travis. Farlight 84. I do believe you mentioned that one before. Oh yeah, that's that. That's right. Uh, it, it's a shooter. I was doing the logos. Well, I do hope you enjoy. Even if it might not make mine kind of game. So two streams today. First, of course, from Beer Factory. And I was planning on doing more Kebab sh Chef afterwards. But they just announced they're up do doing a quite a big update tomorrow. So you thought, you know what, let me switch some things around. And uh, we'll do that tomorrow then. So the second stream is going to be Supermarket Simulator. They just announced the new... Uh, announced. They released a new demo. They asked me to play it. I checked it out. I thought it looked good. Um, it's just that there are two games of the exact same name on Steam. And I don't know which one was first, but it is not a handy uh, situation. Um. I think the conveyor belts are messing with their pathfinding a bit. Uh, he, he found his way. Oh, there he goes. And the other one... It doesn't matter, we're not bottling yet. Right, because we bought a lot of bottles. In the meantime, these guys are bringing... They should be bringing hops down. Oh, then, oh, okay, interesting. Hmm. I didn't eat hops, but they're picking up grains and the grains are disappearing. I 
don't know what happened to the grain though. These guys won't follow me. I think you're stuck. Hold on. Uh, you follow. Yeah, they are brewers. Well, let's see if we can uh, free them there. <laughs> you cannot take my beer, but oh no, what, what was it? Uh, you can take my life, but you cannot take my freedom. I'm gonna take their hops. How about that? Okay, there he blows. He w I think they have. Do they have collision with the. Hold on. I should, I should actually free him. There you go, buddy. It looks like they have collisions now with the pallets, which they didn't have before. Did I miss an update? A little drunk. <laughs> I can. I think you can leave the little. Uh... They did disappear my grain. I wonder where it went. Because there was grain on that pallet. They picked it up. They dropped it. They picked it up. They dropped it. Picked it, up, and then it disappeared. And I don't know. <laughs> don't know what happened to it. Where the hell are you guys picking up? Oh, maybe they were done with the hops and they're now doing grains. That's an option, of course. It's always interesting when they show new behaviors that I'm not familiar with. It's like a nature documentary. Oh yeah, well, you guys were following me. That was the problem. Uh, back to work, please. Okay, let's see what they do. Okay, the second one's going to do like a little reset, I think. Where the... Wait, is there still grain over there? I thought we were out. Oh, no, we, we had some. I don't know where this palette came from. The mystery. I want to try something. So I'm, I'm putting the grain bags on top of this palette. What I'm hoping will happen is that if the workers take something from the palette, the, the, the grain on top of it will fall into the palette. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. Hmm, no, it doesn't. Oh, it did when I picked one up. Interesting. Oh, oh, it's doing... Okay, so it doesn't happen automatically. It's okay. Oi. Sir. We don't do that here. Okay, so... Okay, no, looks looks like he's being good now. Well, it doesn't matter which palette it goes on, as long as they can take it. There we go. Like you think 
except those bags might have been the bags that were lost over there. And if a pallet had fallen... No, that pallet is here. Every day it falls to the floor. The, er, the pallet that lies over there always falls to the floor every day, but it's okay. I'll just put it here instead. There you go. Hey, Rob! Okay. They're doing their job. Everything is ready for bottling here. I'll have to pay a bit more attention to over here if they can't walk through pallets anymore. We'll see how it goes. In the meantime, speaking of getting ready for bottling, let's... I think I had a good price on bottles at the end there and decided to buy like a whole bunch. As I usually do. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Daniel. I got to make myself a coffee. Oh, well. Put out all these bottles. So, did anyone else notice other differences? Or are you maybe waiting on a specific update? A sound effect when the forks hit the floor. That would be a good one. Did you put it in the suggestion channel? Obviously, any kind of bugs are going to have priority at the moment. Uh, or for suggestions, but they are noting them all down. Um, latest patch was, I do believe, the one for... Um, the the little lag spikes when you pick up a pallet of uh, no not a pallet I keep saying a pallet of pallets I guess that works it is a pallet of pallets isn't it the stack of pallets or when you got near it that's uh, what happened to me I got near it and then I got a little lag that should be finished I should try it remote uh, empty these trucks and we'll do that Bought two trucks, so putting it all out here. Now this one's almost empty. Let me put it to the side here. Don't use Discord very often. Uh, over the years, I've gotten to use it very often because so many game developers and streamers use it uh, to communicate with people it's really become like the main hub uh, but yeah I can uh, put it on my list hold on let me open it I forgot to, to do that oh no wait was it my bug channel I think something needs to wake up <laughs> Come on, little PC. You can do it. There you go. 
Let's see, clang sound when forks. That should be clear enough. There you go. Interesting thing. Let's empty the second truck. Oh, I booped. Reset your phone when you have watched your live stream? Why would you have to reset your phone? all having a good day today i just had some dinner i had the, the toast with um, a smoked salmon cucumber and um, what's it called again it, it's a ground up root it's spicy it's white Uh, I know the, the Dutch words, I can't think of the English words. And it happens every time we talk about it. <laughs> That's a silly thing. Oh, it was buffering, yeah. Nothing I can do about that. Unfortunately, I wish I could. Rob, you're usually such a good help with when I can't think of a certain word. Well, if you can write it out, I, I'll be impressed. It's called Medix Wortel. Um, we usually eat it with like roast beef or, or smoked salmon. It's a white root. Um, I, I swear, I can't think of anything right now. What, what is it what you usually eat with sushi? It's related to that. The spicy... Uh... Sometimes my brain... Thank you, horse riders. Thank you. <laughs> my brain was buffering. That was what was going on. Ignore the stream. Add up. Multilingual for the win. It is a problem though that if you can think of a word in this, in one language, it's oftentimes that you can't think of it in the other one. Hey Danny de Groot. <laughs> yes, I am Dutch. <laughs> so I'm flattered that you have to ask. Generally people can hear. The end. But yeah, I really like horseradish, especially, especially this uh, smoked salmon. And in Germany, they have like this this uh, this brand of cream cheese, and it comes in in like a hundred flavors, a little little top. And they also have a horseradish flavor, and we still had that from the holidays, so that was really good with it. <laughs> well, I assumed considering the last name, because oftentimes when you see a Dutch name. Um, you know, uh, from America, it uh, they write it together, or they have changed the last name in such a way that you think, "What the hell did you do with my Dutch?" <laughs> I heard maybe I should pay you some time, Rob, considering all you do. Oh, yeah, beef. Uh, we, we don't eat a lot of roast beef. Well, that's not entirely true. There's, but there's only one store where I like the roast beef, and it's like extremely thinly sliced. It's usually served. It's either you make it at home as what one big piece of meat, or you buy it at the store, pre-roasted but still red. And then. Uh, Oh, look, guys, it's a mystery beer. What are you? Lager, but there's no logo. Oh, there you go. Now, now it has a logo. But you can stay with it. 
That lager beer keeps... I did not put this handy. Let me fix that. Uh, that lager beer keeps appearing. It's just magical beer. You never had fish from a tin. Really? Here eating uh, tuna from a tin or salmon from a tin for that matter, which I really love to make a salad of, uh, is quite common. Though it is known that you don't, you know, don't eat it every day, especially the tuna. There can be some metals in there. You don't want to eat too much of that. Mm. Okay, that's better. We got that all ready. Uh, yeah, let's see how they're doing with the brewing. Surely that one is done by now. No, it's ferment. Of course, it's a full tank. The last step to fermenting after adding the yeast is about, well, 12 minutes, I think. 11 minutes. This one is mashing. Um, the ma yeah, the mashing is after the... I could start this one, but what's gonna happen if I do that? They're gonna ignore this one. So let them finish that one first. Okay, we're full water. How are we on grains? Decent, decent. We should at least be able to make a full tank. Oh! A full tank out of the stuff we have. Let's clean this up a little bit. We are going to need to get some more malt though pretty soon. Uh, so to finish the story, there's um, one supermarket where I really like to roast beef. Uh, just, you know, pre-roasted and sliced. But the other, but it, it's with pepper already. So you don't even need to add the pork radish to it. Which would probably be good. Yeah, the, the other stores, it's just, it's, I don't know. I can't really, I don't like it. I don't like the texture. It's more of a texture thing than flavor, really. But then that store is known for their, what we call, yeah, you know, deli meats, I guess, would be come closest to the idea. Oh, you've had tuna in a can. Have you ever had salmon in a can? It is very different than fresh salmon. It's extremely, uh, it's much stronger flavored also because it's already cooked. So you, uh, I usually make it with like the salads, tomato, um, lettuce, cucumber, uh, boiled egg, and then uh, quite a strong flavored sauce with it. Well, if anyone's interested, I can always send you the recipe. There's booze in it, <laughs> just a little bit. Yes, that's the, that's the word, Spudkin. So it's um, the part wortel actually means root, but it can also mean carrot. So <laughs> we call carrots, we call them roots, which fun fact is there. there you go. Have I heard of a thing called blurps? Um, I've heard the word used before, but it could be that you mean something else with it than the way I know it. Like a blurb could be an outtake of something weird happening of, in like a video or... Uh, but you also have blaps, which is, you know, what cats do when they forget this. They're washing themselves. Or sound bites, yeah, outtakes. Hey cowgirl, I'm good, thank you very much. Oh, 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 I hit the wall. There we go. Okay, let's try this. Alright, looks like we're not having any more trouble with this. How the hell did you get up there? I am 99% certain I did not put those pallets up there. That's weird. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, a sound effect. I, I honestly just need to look into that because I have a stream deck. I just... When I first started streaming, it was a lot of information. Well, we have that, yes. You can buy the sound effects. Uh, but I really should look into like getting some sound effects for myself. It's just, uh, it feels a little bit like adding a laugh track. Does that make sense? Like, I'm <laughs> maybe it works, I don't know. It just feels fake. <laughs> yeah. The downside of your guys' is, uh, sound bites that you can buy with your points is that uh, there's a delay, obviously. Oh, I forgot to put the stairs back, didn't I? Let me do that. So. Look at that! They can put stuff in without the stairs. Where the hell did you get those hops? There were no hops there. thing is that means that they're much faster if I don't build the stairs because the walking upstairs takes them a long time because they're not that fast well I mean they don't have sound effects so I'd have to find them and add them If anyone has a suggestion for a sound effect I should use during a stream, feel free to put it in the Discord or in the comments. Either works. Okay, they don't need this one anymore. They already added all the yeast there. But this is interesting. I never realized that they don't they don't need stairs. They're much faster this way. <laughs> yeah, the stairs just disappear, except for that one. This one doesn't disappear. Now, I can easily put them back. But clearly, I shouldn't. <laughs> Let's just pretend they can throw really, really well. Really, a blurb. I see that more as I would take a piece of sound out of my own stream and use that. Now I, I can do that, but what would we use then? Maybe I'll record Freya screaming for food. <laughs> He's lying next to me. Took a nap. Freya had some smoked salmon too. <laughs> the other two, uh, they smelled it and just went, whoa, and just backwards, backwards. And Freya was like, oh. And I don't know if that's just because she's more used to, you know, tasting human food, though I almost never give anything. Yeah, well, meat and fish, that's, uh, that's generally quite safe. A cat central. Hyper carnivores. Yeah, the yeast <laughs> looks like a... You're right, it does look like a hop sack, doesn't it? Don't know what's going on there. Oh, look so high there. There, that's better. Okay. I uh, might as well put all the yeast out. Because we're waiting on uh, the brewing and all my hops and malt is upstairs. 
Though really, it's a lot faster to just buy ready malt, you know, ground malt, and then have them pick it up upstairs. Then it is to grind it and have them pick it up in the grain room. I do bring grain downstairs sometimes, though, when I'm, like, waiting on them to do something. But this way, at least, you know, when I'm doing something else, it keeps going. Uh, they're picking up hops upstairs right now. So that's not the east. <laughs> Wait, what's that? What the hell? There, hold on, hold on. There's a... There's a connection with the... Hold on. Oh! There's a connection now with the... Oh, that was a mistake. Hold on. Down first. Uh, there's a connection now with the... The shelf. I didn't. Did I miss some updates or something? Hold on. Y you hang in there. Let me check. I could have. No, because I would have seen the. Uh. Oh, otherwise, I turn off the music. Look at me bouncing. Hold on. There's an, uh, a ping for an update. Teleport zone above the grain crusher is less sensible. I think he means less sensitive, but. Oh, yeah, I missed. That was yesterday. I missed one. Or at least I missed the last sentence to it. Locked pallet on forklifts can be transferred to storage and will be locked on it. Okay, I missed that because I was looking at the uh, the update for the uh, the frame drop problem. And then didn't read the last sentence clearly. Weast? What's weast? This, this is a downside, though. Okay, there we go. But it works. It works. Weast is bouncing to the music. That's... that. Now, that's a word I've never heard before. Interesting. Okay. So all the available yeast is now ready for use. And of course that doesn't go as fast because each box holds six yeast. Oh, did I accidentally pick up that one? I was like, why, why am I holding grain? There, that's better. Yeah. Gotta clean up here and there. 
Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, so depending on where my hook is, it bounces around. Okay, that's that's new. It's probably because he's working on the physics that sometimes these things change as well. They do not need to all stay on the yellow platform here. Well, I made a mess. It used to be that I could just uh, let them bump into each other with no problem, but now they're like being difficult. Okay, that works. It used to be a lot easier when they couldn't bump each other. There you go. you in here perfect they can all grab that again well <laughs> I do need to keep everything a bit organized because otherwise it gets really messy uh, plus you don't want too much uh, you know bumping around <laughs> not too many loose items and such the amount of pallets I have lying around here is actually also a bit overkill there you go because you already need to have a lot of supplies uh, I made a coffee there and forgot to drink it hold on Okay, we have bottles, but we'll have to buy some more grain. Look so, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. And right now, I'm waiting on that one tank that's fermenting. The thing is, it says it's fermenting on the computer. But is it? This one is brewing. That's right, that's tank three. It's not working. Ah! Can they maybe not close the lid because uh, there's no stairs? It also, it happens that they just don't close the lid. No, because they were able to start this one without going up the stairs. It happens sometimes after they put in the yeast that it didn't work. So if we close it... Yes, timer's going down. There you go. Fix it! Yeah, that was gonna be a long wait if I didn't fix it. Oh, let me just add the stairs back. I know it takes them a bit longer to walk, but really, we're not in a rush. It looks good, too. But it is funny to know that if you're in a rush, just leave the stairs off. They'll just toss it in from the bottom. Okay, uh, one is brewing, one is fermenting. Uh, once the third one is fermenting, we can start another batch. I don't want to do it before then, because otherwise they're going to prioritize the earlier tanks. I did lose some time because I thought it was fermenting when it wasn't. What shall we do in the meantime? Do I have water? Yeah, see, if I start a recipe in this tank... Um, because this is tank one it'll prioritize this tank over this tank and then they won't they'll put in the grain before they'll put in the yeast here I don't want that to happen um, oh that's a good price though this is not the best price but Oh, I did 10, didn't I? Okay. 
There, we had 10 seconds, so I'm just ordering one truck. There we go. <laughs> For the price, that is. Uh, if you have something in your basket and the price changes, that price changes as well. So I didn't want to want to miss that one. Want to bet it's like minus 40 now? Ah, no, seven. Okay, okay, we did. Oh, that. Uh, we have some yeast, uh, some uh, hops. Sorry. Oh, why not? It's not a bad price. Yep, exactly enough. Okay. Uh, cans and kegs will be added at a later date. Mm, they're on the rope map right now. Honestly, I should just put some under the... Hold on. Just realized that I'm really wasting a lot of time, aren't I? Time, space, I mean space. Yeah, there we go. Oh, since we have time to kill, might as well just go get some supplies. Can we get in the middle? Yeah, there we go. That's better. The Jutsu Kaisen game coming out next month. That's the ad. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I do apologize for the ads. It's, uh, it's, yeah, I, I, I need to eat too. <laughs> well, Osaka did link something that could help you uh, i probably shouldn't talk about it on youtube it's on the discord it allows you to basically skip ads while still supporting youtubers i thought that was a because that's the thing right if you have an ad blocker anyone you're watching is not getting anything for your view other than uh, um you know the algorithm seeing the view Hey, fake illusion. Hello, hello. Oh. Um. I'm not a big fan of the new bounciness of the palace. Makes it a lot even, a lot harder to put them down neatly. Well, hey, may maybe one day I get offered a nice, uh, a nice promotion deal, right? And then you can have, you can have me to talking about the ads instead of the, the ones interrupting the stream. <laughs> nah, so far I I've never accepted any of those other than the ones that are actually from the game itself. No, workers cannot work the crane just yet. That's also something on the roadmap. So we'll have to wait in that one. How much do I have? I have a lot of hop here. Yeah. Um, hello? Couldn't get it under there. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I do have a link with the Epic Game Store, but unfortunately they only pay out if you're above a hundred dollars. I don't know why I can't go more to the left there. I wonder if there's something blocked. Could be. Workers are buggy? Really? No, I've never... No, I don't... Not my experience so far. They're doing their jobs. I mean, I wish I could make the potting a little bit better, but... So far, they're working very hard for me. But then, you know, if they're... Uh, they are made by a Frenchman, so... Uh, you better treat them well. <laughs> Otherwise, they start a riot. <laughs> That's a joke he made, now, by the way, so he won't be mad about it. <laughs> the forklift. Yeah, I think some people have different bugs than I do. That's, uh, that's fair. Everyone with a different PC can have different things happening. The only issue I've had with the workers pathing is when they, when I wanted them to get the grain from the grain crusher room, and instead of using the stairs that are right next to the grain crusher, they walk all the way through the docks, and I don't know what's up with that. Okay, that was the hops and the grain from truck two. Currently waiting on some beer to ferment so we can bottle it. The waypoints could work. Uh, you can block them with the desk, by the way. That uh, does work. However, I've not been able to force them to go through, uh, through the staircase that I want them to go through because They'll just take the other staircase and go through the the lounge. The front door. I didn't mean to poop them. Yeah, even if they go, you know, the long way around, they're still faster than nothing doing it, so... Yeah, this is all full. So what we can do is we can put some up here and we can also toss some downstairs and then get it with the forklift. So I'll have to put the forklift downstairs first before we do that. I don't want to have to drive past it. The mess I'll be making. Something changed with the grain, uh, the, the the crane and the grain pallets. So if I let me see if I go down here and then yeah, see it moves and then it bumps the other pallets. The racket is low. No, it does not. However, I had the storage. Um, First I had it over there, there against the wall, where now the bottles are. Um, but then I decided, someone suggested and I decided to build my bottling area here so I could move it right into the truck. And I didn't have to drive it from the building over here to here. Because the driving part was taking a lot of time moving all those pallets. And this I can do just with the crane, so it's much faster. 
Uh, but then I had them over there, but then I needed that space to put underground grain so that workers could come and get that to put in the grain crusher. And then I needed to put my storage somewhere it was out of the way. Well, there it is. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Alan. <laughs> Workers will take the longest routes to the <laughs> minimal job per hour. You're so right. Yes, that's exactly what they do. Now, I don't know why the potting to the dock would be... Um, would be used over, the, you know, the shorter route. No idea. It's a bit odd. Hey, Alison. <laughs> well, the developer is still working on a lot of things in the physics uh, department. The thing is, every time he fixes one thing, that fix breaks something else. <laughs> And I'm not saying that to be mean, it's just the way it is. It's a poor guy. Hey Blue, hey Mixed. And Swoosh. Hello, hello. I was waiting on a, a tank to ferment. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't realize that the lid hadn't closed, so I did that manually and then the 10 minutes started, or uh, almost 11 minutes. So I just uh, decided to load up on grain instead, fill up the time. We're gonna need it anyway. Up. Uh, hold on, before we start well, before we start tossing more. Uh, they fixed the lag spikes when you drive by the... Oh, let's test it with more. Okay, so the problem was we got lag spikes when we drove past. Oh, looks good so far. The lines are a bit blurring, but... Let me, let me write that down, actually. Um, but that's really a bug, isn't it? Uh, stairs keep disappearing. That's the thing. It's still going on. And, um, motion blur is on. On restart game. But really, I don't know if... I don't really see a difference between whether I put it on or not. So I wonder if I even can put it on. <laughs> Got it. That's why I have to laugh about it, Gordon. Because it's a standard programming joke that if you fix one thing, you will find ten other bugs. Since the potting might be interrupted by the yellow boxes, it You mean on the, the, the yellow blocks on the floor? The pallet spots? Pallet zones? You mean something else? Only thing I've seen that really blocks their potting is desks. So I have blocked uh, the area upstairs from them to force them to go through the, the that way instead of to go instead of going through the docks and that works why am i driving upstairs i didn't mean to do that Hold on. Roll back time. Oh, too early. But I got him. The whole point was to get him downstairs, not upstairs. Just drove back by <laughs> while reading chat. You you mean the stairs of the uh, the brewing tanks? No, no, don't. They don't block anything. They do. They also walk through the pallets. At least they did. But they still. I think they actually walked around it earlier. 
But the, the pouting I was talking about is the fact that, you know, they walk up here to get this grain. Because I have pallet zones under there, you can just see it there. And that works fine. But when they go get grain over here... One moment. See, so what I did was I connected those pallet zones to the grain crusher. Had workers come and bring in grain from over there to here get crushed and then here these are connected to the brewery and instead of using this route which is what I want them to do um, they either go through the docks all the way around or go this way now obviously this way is I think still better than through the docks why do you do this to me? There are a couple of spots that are very unstable. One of them is here. Every time I put a pallet there, it falls through the floor into the hallway here. And the other one is here. When that falls, it, it reappears over there. I will leave it. I'll uh, clean it up later. What was I doing? Right. Uh, unload the grain. You... Oh, yeah, you mean... You mean these. Uh, no. Because they can walk over these yellow spots, no problem. And even though the pallet is not blocking the door, they still don't use that way. My day's been good, Blue. Thank you. Just uh, going through my 120 messages. <laughs> oh, it's not even... <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it's busy in gaming land at the moment. Uh, lots of new games coming up. To the point that I, I need to make decisions because I've decided a while back that uh, series are especially with simulator games are just a good way to go for me not single episodes though of course it does depend on how popular a game is on my channel um, but that means I need to make decisions And there's a lot of uh, survival games coming up. Uh, Enshrouded got released. Soul Mask has a new demo. Well, not new, it's the same demo, but uh, I didn't get access to the early one. And we're finally allowed to talk about uh, what we did in the Nightingale test. But really, I just very much more want to show you guys the full game instead of talking about what happened during the test. Because I've shown you all pictures. Even though it, it doesn't... Uh, the pictures doesn't... Don't... Don't do the game justice. That's what I wanted to say. You woke up with a very bad headache. I'm sorry. I don't know how that is. It sucks. Power World was fun, yes. But yeah, I also, I mean, as a streamer, just be practical and look at the views. Power World is so popular that, you know, everyone and their grandmother is streaming it. So, it doesn't do that well for me. It was fun though. They just released their rope map too. Yeah, Gary, I wonder if that's not something in the planning. I don't know. So the developer has said that he's definitely planning to allow us full automation. Um, and that, I'm assuming that means both by conveyor belt and by workers. 
but I would right now we can't connect the conveyor belts to a couple of the machines. We can't put them outside. They're really only useful for the boffin machines that I've seen so far. Uh, that one is too close to the... There. Gives them a bit more space to maneuver. Um, fractured veil released. But I don't know if I have uh, time for that one. And of course there's a lot of... Uh, so these are games that are announced way in advance, right? But then there's also like smaller indie games that might not take the time. Um, you know, don't, don't they don't announce things so far in advance. So sometimes you get caught off guard. <coughs> now add up onto that all the playtests that are currently running and coming soon and yeah. It's very busy, but uh, I'll just make decisions and you all can let me know what you want to see on the channel. Maybe you run into a game I missed. It certainly happened before. Because I missed Power World. Completely. Like, not a single mention of it seen anywhere until it was released. And I was like, now it's the most popular game in the world. Or one of them at least. And yeah, it was weird. Okay, I just put the rest downstairs. So they can just grab it here on the next batch. Speaking of the next batch, let's see how that's going. Can we get that one started? Oh, he... Wait, is he already done? Was it... He was just mashing. Interesting. I thought the yeast still had to go in. Driving a corklift? What? <laughs> Have I heard of Minecraft? Yeah, well, that's. Uh, I played that a long, long, long time ago. When it was still. Uh, but it wasn't owned by Microsoft. Well, almost all the games I play are indie games, with a couple of exceptions. But some are more indie than others. <laughs> now, to be fair, even the you know the least good good looking indie game can still be the most fun. That's something you have to discover, right? <laughs> the forklift made out of cork. Created with cork, yay! <laughs> Um, oh, it keeps forgetting this tank name. I don't know why. That is sad. What do we have? So we have IPA, we have the bison. But of the recipes, the only one that's still high in popularity is the IPA. So let's make some more of that. Put the workers back to work. Hey, Smiley. Right, Ambers, I thought the same thing. I just saw on their roadmap that they're gonna, in PAL World, they're gonna be focusing a lot on PvP, PAL battles and all that. And that's not really my cup of tea. I want to build a big base where, well, basically what I'm doing here, building a lot of stuff, looking for supplies, and putting my workers to work. <laughs> I just realized I'm doing exactly what I'm doing here. <laughs> Automating everything with workers. <laughs> Sorry. This is such a weird comparison um, 
This is the first time I'm actually gonna switch from tank. Let's do the Vison first. Because we're already making a new batch of the IPA. Oh. I can... I, wait. I'm quite sure I can walk through grain. Oh, no. I didn't pay attention at all. That changed. I guess it changed for the workers then, too. We used to be able to just walk through everything. Then it is more realistic not to be able to. Yeah. Just making all the same beers at the bottling the same beers at the same time. Because it's easier to... Also, you should never sell uh, a, a mixed batch. You should never sell a couple of pallets with one beer and a couple of pallets of another beer. Because it will go... I don't know what happens, but you lose money on selling. Capitalist free enterprise. Oh boy. You lurk away, Ambers. <laughs> Blueberry muffins? <laughs> Patrol Edgar to work. Ah. <laughs> so mean. Look at, look at the little dwarf. <laughs> it's their beer mug. I can't crouch. Timing on on the the two in the back is exact to the point that they <laughs> they just go on top of each other. wrapped up uh, yeah let's order a truck and then start loading up yeah Hey, that's a first. It's never gotten stuck before. Weird. I'll grab that one. Hold on. No, I can't grab that one. Um Oh, I was holding I was holding an invisible box of beer. Hold on. Okay. Hold up. Uh No, let him run. I can see in that different way. Because it's not backed up, it's not cleaning itself up. It doesn't work, does it? It doesn't go high enough.
No, it doesn't. Okay, now I'm gonna have to stop the machines for a moment. Clean this up. Can't keep up. The one box got stuck. And then it just kept happening. It's a first though. Let's see if it happens again. guys not popping in here that one is full yes YouTube I'm still listening <laughs> okay Always interesting if something happens for the for the first time, basically. Sorry, sometimes I take a picture because I I play this game so much I need a lot of thumbnails, and I'm trying to make them a little different than the last one. <laughs> it's not always easy because everything looks very similar in this game. Like, all the workers look the same, all the tanks look the same, all the bottling machines look the same. The trucks have different colors. But yeah, it <laughs> doesn't help enough. Yeah, I wonder if it goes faster now. Might something, uh, might be something has changed with the, uh, with the speed. Grab that one. Gonna need some more empty pallets here. Just have to be careful not to, to get too close to the other empties and just they'll pop together. A stacking robot. Yeah, that would. My guess is though that they would. Uh... Ah! Hold on. I came too close. Um, they would probably add like a, a worker to do that then But a robot would be fun too Triangle shaped cheese flavor tortilla chips. Hey, what could that be? to turn the computers back on machines make sure it's still on the bison I have a feeling it's now going faster and that's where I get stuck hmm. uh, let's see one option is of course to remove the belt and start working here again I should actually be able to put these closer to the pallets again. I put them on this location because the workers kept getting stuck, but that was the thing fixed by the developer. Because yeah, they do need to push each other. 
past that little bump there. But the problem is, is with three boxes it goes fine. But if another shows up before, they'll push against this railing. Should I remove this railing, maybe? That might prevent it from happening again. Just in case. Because unless something goes wrong, uh, it shouldn't hit that barrier anyway. Well, now, of course, the boxes are full. <laughs> you still don't have enough sheep, uh, Rob? See, that's just what's happening. Rob is playing Power World and using the sheep to work in his factory. <laughs> That was gun, exactly. That's what happens. But so far it hasn't gotten stuck again. Why are you not picking up the beer below there? Is that the... No, it is. That is. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. All right, so we have one pack, but that could also be overflow from going this way. Just a little too late. There we go. Well, don't give everything to Rob. You won't be able to play games. <laughs> hmm. There you go. I thought maybe it was... Uh a lost packet of magical beer again. I I usually try to stream a little earlier than I started today. I just uh, I'm in a very very late rhythm right now. So because I start late, I end late, and then you know you have some free time, and then I wake up late, and etc. <laughs> That's how it usually goes. But yeah, I do try to. But I don't stream every day. Why can't you? There we go. I don't know how some people do it. Three, two to three streams every single day of the week. Yeah, generally about, uh, what, 10 streams per week? It depends a little bit. Um, like when there's a big release, I might just do that game on that day. Other days I might do uh, two streams. I'm out of juice. Ah. It clicked uh, to the one below it. Stop clicking together. I'm trying to separate you lot. Naughty palette. Oh, 
Oh yeah, for you, uh, I start early in the morning. Uh, no, generally I start about an early, uh, an hour earlier than today. But yeah, it, oh, also you know, today I had to change my plans, so I had everything prepared to play kebab sim, and then was like, yeah, we're gonna be updating tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, well, then I should wait till tomorrow, shouldn't I? So I had to quickly make a thumbnail for the demo. Not that it takes a lot of time. Interesting. No, there's the lager. It. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. That one really didn't want to go. The beer train, yes. They're going to be running out of bottles soon, though. Let me think. Well, they have run out of bottles. Is this one full? I don't think so. No. Should be almost be done though. Yeah. Okay. Clean this up. Ah, interesting. I last time when uh, when I played the the pallets stuck together on their own like that. out of the way. Okay. Yeah, my setup now works a lot less well because the workers can't walk through the pallets anymore. <laughs> oh, oh. Stay. Yeah, it's going well. There's a couple of little changes that apparently also changed some other physics. Just, you know, learning them. So we have two full tanks right now. Well, two tanks ready to bottle. I mean, one we've already been bottling, so it's not full. Uh, and one is being brewed by my workers. I'll also get rid of some of the pallets when we send out our second truck of this beer. Yeah, it's a lot of pallets, but really with this ability to just move five at once, it saves a lot of time. Okay, let's get some pal uh, pallets of bottles ready for them. <laughs> I 
<laughs> morning person of the future. That's a good one. Yeah, lots of people here are on different time zones. Because even if you say like uh, almost 50, I think that 40 to 50 percent of the viewers are usually uh, from the US. But the US has a lot of time zones on its own. Oh. I'm, I'm coming. Hold on. Oh, I can't get close enough. Can I, can I grab it? Yes. Um, the worker just... They, it was standing there, so when I released the bottles, it, uh, they booped. But your your wife uh, told you I was Dutch before you realized. Yes, I am very Dutch. Seven time zones. Well, that's quite a lot for one country. Uh. Oh, let's check up on uh, the beer. Yeah, the workers are doing a lot. I mean, the only thing they can't do is put stuff uh, in and out of the truck. Now, that is going to change in the future. I'm just wondering how. Hold on, i got to sneeze. There we go. Okay. Uh, put more, uh, double the amount of bottlers. I could add one more, but it's already like I can just keep up with it. You know what I mean? Just keep in mind, if I do that, the bottles will run out even faster. I have to go out there occasionally to uh, detach the, <laughs> the pallets. Come here. Watching one of the old lives. <laughs> She sounds Dutch. Oh boy. I do hope it's not our prime minister like Dutch, or I should really say previous prime minister, because we'll be getting a new one soon. As long as it's not that bad, it's okay. I can live with it. And thanks all for over 30 likes. You guys are a big support. <laughs> well, Steve, we do try to keep it in English here so everyone can understand. But yeah, I, I understood that. He's just asking how it's going. Uh, where's Francis? I turned him off. Um, so his health goes up. Oh, did you see that box jump there? Um, the more you, like, beat him down, 
the more, wow, that sounded bad, but you know what I mean. Um, oh, you just, uh, Yeah, that looks good for Google Translate. <laughs> Google Translate can be dangerous in some con <clears throat> in some translations if you have no idea what it would be. They can really put you on the wrong <laughs> the wrong foot there. Uh, how much is a full truck of beer? Usually around thirteen thousand, but you need to watch out for the multiplier, and that's also the reason why you should never mix beers in the truck. Because it'll look, for, I think it'll actually look for the lowest amount and just give you that. So if you have one pallet of another beer, it'll just give you some money for that and nothing for the rest. Um, we're wrong computer. We're bottling the vice and see this one is really high, but and this, we'll probably get this one. I don't really have a lot of control over that. I'd have to wait half an hour. But the last time it was it just was randomly appointed to a multiplier not not matching the beer at all. So I don't know what's going on there. Lebanon. What Oh, I, you know, I don't even know what language do you speak in Lebanon? Is it Arabic? Well, we call it Arabic. I think maybe you call it in English Arab. No. Yes, Arabic. I mean, uh, in that area, it's it's always a good guess, but I'm never hundred percent sure. Does anyone know to only have chat display on your phone? Uh, no, I, I never watch on my phone. I know that people do it though. They have chat up and then watch uh, on their phone while they watch. So question, someone asked me to put chat on screen. And I, I'm still thinking about it because I like a clean UI. Like I have, uh, I have a Freya on there, and we have a member counter, so I know when to start a giveaway for memberships. But that's it, and even that I kept pretty small. Hello, you're not supposed to be here, little lagger. See, I knew something was blocking me. Is there another one? Yes. It's a different beer, and I don't know why that one keeps appearing sometimes. Oh, I think we might just be out of beer here. Actually. Well, yeah, you do need to open the stream, but you should be able to see the chat on your phone. Oh, spirit tea is on sale. That one, unfortunately, uh... Didn't do too well on my channel. But it is a good one. Oh boy. Um. Yeah. How do I find my own stream? Let me see. <laughs> now I'm checking. Look for myself. Oh, look, there I am. You can now put people in timeout for different lengths. 
ranging from 10 seconds to 24 hours. My, what a luxury. Gotta thank you, YouTube. Yeah, so what I see is... Oh, yeah, you do see the screen. I think you should be able to pause the chat, uh, pause the stream and still be able to chat. <laughs> I was looking for the chat, Rob, so that doesn't really work. <laughs> By posting it in the chat, I mean. Okay, let's combine this here. Uh... I have to be honest though, this is way too little beer. Well, there's one lost box. Are we already out? Yeah. Sometimes beer disappears. But this is 16 pallets of 48 liters, plus a little bit. That's, that's not a thousand liters, that's like, what, 800 max. Yeah, so to finish the story, uh, someone asked me to uh, put like a mini version of the chat on the screen. Would that be something people would want? Uh, the truck is full, right? We can't... Man, we'll have one box left over. One pallet. Well, let's see how much... Wrong computer. Let's see how much we can earn with this. See, it says 13,155 bucks. But we should get... Hey, these ones are on zero. Oh, the timer ran out. Yeah. Oh, that's annoying because the next beer we have is an IPA. So let's see, third, so that should be uh, 77,000. Yeah, okay, so we didn't get a multiplier? Nope, we didn't. Sometimes I really don't know why that's broken. It's okay. It's still a good uh, chunk of money. Oh, let's get rid of that one pallet of- Oh, there's a box hidden behind it, hold on. I just now saw it. Get in there. Let me just check if I didn't miss any boxes while we wait for the truck. Nope, looks good. Right, Alison, that's what I thought too, because there's there's already a delay between when you type and I can see it in chat. And then there's a bigger delay uh, between me saying something and you hearing it. So if you add an extra delay from the chat on the screen, yeah, the conversation is not, uh, not going to be very fast paced. On the tablet, this might be better than the than the phone. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So if you do that, if I would do that, you could have a uh, full screen while still being able to read chat. But it is quite a big block of screen. Yeah. This is honestly a bit of a waste. But we need to get rid of that one palette. Oh no, I forgot. I forgot to put empty pallets on it. It's okay, we'll do it with the next one. But we'll uh, load in a whole bunch of empty pallets. We are gonna need to buy bottles though.
There you go. Well, we have a few over here. We can use those. And then buy a bunch. How's it going over here? Oh, look at that. Getting that ready for beer. How's it going over here? They're still working on the malt. I honestly think something went wrong with the the recipe connection with the with the distribution. Like, I'm selling one recipe, but they're actually um, seeing it as another recipe. So I sold the bison, we didn't get... Maybe it saw it as the lager? I don't know. I'm watching the new Percy Jackson. I, I'm not that familiar with Percy Jackson. It's never been one of my fandoms. Cowgirl. Okay, there's a couple more pallets over here. Yeah, I don't watch a lot of uh, series, really. I have a couple I want to see. The thing about anime is that it's only 20 minutes long, so I can very easily watch, like, uh, two episodes. Or even just the one in the time that I have. It's easier to manage time-wise. Okay, that's all set. Yeah, because I finished... Uh, oh, I forgot to pay my workers. Hold on. Hey. There you go. Come on back. There you go. Immediately running back. Yeah, no, I'm not going back to One Piece. That would be a lifetime mission. I watched Psalm 100, uh, Bucket List of the Dead. That one is, uh, that one was impressive. Definitely recommend it. It is, it is a bit gruesome. It is, uh, basically it goes, it's about a guy who, uh, and they finally finished it. They had some problems with publication and they finished it, uh, this, uh, this Christmas. Should we start a new tank? <coughs> oh, uh, well, you know what? Why not make more IPA? This is still popular. Oh, no, wait, discard. Hold on. Before we start, I forgot to... Uh, I was only making 10 liters. That's not... That's not the there you go. Uh, no, not the white, in the IPA. Sure, yeah. There you go, that's better. Um... 
it's about a guy who uh, basically got trapped in an extremely toxic work environment at the office and uh, he's he's lit he's just you know office slave he's basically the zombie in the start of the story and he's like oh i don't want to go to work i don't because he has to work like days and sleep at the office it's a thing in japan uh sometimes and you know everyone is like yeah you're just supposed to do that and then he wakes up one morning goes to work and his neighbor is being eaten by a zombie and he suddenly wakes up like i don't have to go to work and he's so happy he's so happy it's so funny but of course there's also you know tragedies that happen and it's, it's a very good balance between humor and tragedy it's not it's rare for oh what was that That was a weird, a weird boop there. Oh, looks good now. Yeah, so in any case, he makes uh, a list of, well, he starts a list of 100 things to do before he gets turned into a zombie. In the meantime, of course, he also, you know, he goes looking for, for friends, he, he meets new people, all the good stuff. And yeah, lots of people get get eaten by zombies and... Uh... The new season of Mashal? No, I don't, I don't recognize that name. You'll take five paths of IPA. All right, coming right up. I did start all three, right? Yeah. Well, anyways, yeah. I to watch occasional anime because it's very easy for me to do late in the evening just after a stream to watch like one or two apps and then go to bed well that was a mistake come on now everyone on the yellow no let's go It doesn't boop in as nicely anymore as it did before. And then I watched uh, an anime called uh, Sweet Reincarnation. Which at first I thought was about a pastry chef being reincarnated. And, you know, start making sweets in that world. But no, he doesn't really make that many sweets. It turns into like a political intrigue. It's actually quite. It was good though. It was good, but not what I expected. I thought it was a cooking enemy. <laughs> beep beep all the palettes. Oh, I need to order a truck. That's a very good price you got there. We are gonna need a lot of bottles. Uh, we just order. That yeah, might be a bit much, <laughs> won't it? Two trucks sh should do. There you go. Let's not go overboard. Mashal, mashal. 
Oh, you know what? It does ring a bell. Now that you mentioned that it's an anime. Is it of this season? If it isn't coming out now, because what I do, I wait till the season is finished and then watch it. Because I get very frustrated if I watch like three episodes and then have to wait a week for another one. There's a bunch of uh, uh, this season I'm waiting for though, so I might have already put it on my list. doesn't want to click onto that one. It's the second season even. Well. Hold on. Yes, I'm still listening. Thank you. The family I used to have. I feel like everything's so different now. Sitting by the fire as we'd watch the flames burn out. Oh, that one. Yeah. The guy who won who goes to magic school when he can't do magic and just fixes everything with his muscles. <laughs> I have that one on my list too, but I have a couple of like big ones I still have to watch. Um, Attack on Titan I still have to watch. Shield Hero. Um, Overlord. I started that one a while back. <laughs> yeah, I try not to be impatient with it because I just... If I can't watch the season in one go, I just, you know, I find it frustrating. <laughs> Look at our Bavarian Freya. Maybe not the best fit for an IPA, but it works. What are you still doing there? Why are you not bottling? I thought I turned them all on. The other two are working. I'll let them empty the bottles a bit before we start unloading those. Well, I could put some on the side already. Let's look after the beer, though. <laughs> yeah, if you do all, I think it's uh, 10k, yeah. And thanks everyone for the 40 likes. Oh, hey, Wild Child. Yeah, I just noticed that. I don't know why that one stopped. Or maybe I misclicked. That's an option. It's working now. Oh, botheration. These click together there. <laughs> when they get too close, sometimes they uh, they do boop and then they're stuck. <laughs> okay, thank you. I mean, I'm sorry you're having problems with your girlfriend, but really. <laughs> you can go overboard. <laughs> Weird lyrics. Yeah, it was working, right? And then he just stopped. Oh well. I fixed it. The song always reminds me... Uh, uh, there was this weird beep beep song 
Uh, like, I think it was something like, uh, oh my fucking god, hello. I think it was called. Well, he's still working now, so that's good. Alterations. Dang. Are you stuck now? Y yeah. Okay, there we go. Could you take that last box? That would be great. Nope, he's going for the full pallet. <laughs> That's a shame. Uh, hold on, that's too close. There, need to leave them some space. You know, it's a shame that the new uh, storage connection uh, mechanic, I guess you could call it, the one where if you put the forklift uh, with a pallet close enough to storage, it'll connect to the storage. It's a shame it doesn't work with the train okay. I need to keep an eye on the beer here Um, I watched the beginning of Bleach until uh, basically what they did is they introduced us to you know a couple of the main you know the main characters and some kids from school who were basically side characters and then they end up in you know the world of the dead. And it was just an overload on characters, and I lost interest. I think they introduced like 24 characters in in one episode. <laughs> but yeah, I, I lost interest in that one, just like Naruto. At the beginning, um, I remember when Naruto first started, actually, and that was back then it was super interesting because at the start of Naruto the whole thing is that nothing is what it seems right they can turn into like <coughs> wood logs and things well not turn to switch out with but the same difference right with wood logs and things like that and it looked to be a very interesting anime and then it turned into just I'm stronger no I'm stronger I'm the strongest I'll, I'll yeah I'll be stronger than you one day and then, then turn and I lost interest. Although really, really, really bad in female female characters. But maybe the exception of Tsunade, but that that might be it. Thousand Year Blood War, could you link that in the is that an anime? If, you, if so you can link it in the channel, I'll check it out. That I really couldn't get into. The thing is, chance of me remembering the name of something that I really couldn't get into. There was... <laughs> it's small. Um, I had a bit of trouble with Overlord, but that was very popular, so I'll probably give it another go. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't let go when it's just two of them. I'm just waiting for it to fall. 
Um, there was one isekai, and isekai just means that a character is moved to a different world. Usually, like a fantasy world based on an old German, because, you know, that's what the Japanese like. Um, it was a boy and a girl who was transported to the world, and she was pretty powerful, but he was like... The only thing they talked about was how strong he was, and how much he had to train to gain control, and I just went, okay, yeah, this is boring. Huh. Oh! So I can walk through pallets that... That are that are missing grain. Some of them, I don't know. It's weird. Okay, now we got some pallets ready there. Let's go. Oh, it's a bleach arc. Well, yeah, but you know, to watch the ending. <coughs> I mean, of course, you can watch the ending without watching the rest. Nobody's stopping you, but I just. Yeah. But usually, when I start an anime, I will finish it. It's rare for me because I want to know how it ends. It's very rare for me to just drop it. When I drop it with the crane, it doesn't connect. No. <clears throat> I do like isekais, but they have very, very long names. Uh, there was one I watched recently about a guy who went into... Well, it's not really an isekai. A little bit. But he's playing like this VR game and he just wants to play alone basically because you know he usually walks in, works in the office and doesn't have a lot of time. Um, and he picks the, the, the skills that were like the weakest during the beta basically. And of course eventually he turns out to be super strong with it. And it actually turns out to be a bonus in the full version of the game. You know, all the good stuff. But just the way the storyline went, it just... It was really weird. The ending was also weird, because just someone shows up and starts to fight him for seemingly no reason at all. And then one of the main characters, they just say bye, and that's the way it ends. And it's just... It's not even a spoiler, it's just... It was just bad. No, it's just such a shame because it starts out very good and then it turns out into weird uninteresting gravel but that's my opinion yeah that one with the bow so one of the gimmicks was that there's a lot of crafting in that game they're playing and honestly it would look like a good game um but things like potions, they could all just buy from the NPCs. But then in the full game, the NPCs run out. So suddenly people who can make potions are super popular, you know, things like that. It was funny, the beginning was good. Yeah, it went very strongly downhill. It was really a shame. If they just focused more on him playing the game instead of adding like these fairy characters, <laughs> Which didn't add anything for me. I just found them annoying. Or made it about that. This, but they, they did neither. Basically. Um, looks like these pals all clicked together there. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Renee, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. Let me split those up there. Yeah. See, when you pick up two, you just get two. But if I make more and then put... No, it turned into two again. Because I picked up the other one. Hold on. If you go over an empty pallet, it will pick it up. 
I need to split them up. There we go. Uh, the beer pushed the pallets into each other and then they click together. Uh, yeah, that's going all right. Let's check up on the bottles again. Oh, I wonder if that one's gonna get a second season. But there's also been a lot where I was hoping for a second season and they didn't get it, unfortunately. But yeah, I don't remember all the names. I'd have to look it up. Like, there, there was one that, uh, a guy who was a game developer, and it's one of those, you know, in, in Japan, it's, uh, you show you're a hard worker when you basically fall asleep behind the desk. Well, basically, literally. Um, that, it's a thing there, right? It's, it's very much uh, a different culture than here. So this guy, he's working on a game, and he needs to stay late, and he sleeps in the office, and he wakes up in the game. And he's like, what the hell happened? But then a whole army shows up. And he uses the cheat skill. And this, I'm, this is like the first 10 minutes of the series. That's so not, not really a spoiler. He uses a cheat skill that allows him to summon enormous meteorites. And he throws it on the army. And he's like a level 160 in, <laughs> in a couple of seconds. <laughs> so obviously, since this is like meant to be a somewhat realistic fantasy world, no one else is that level and he keeps it hidden and it, it that one was pretty good it also dealt with things like slavery uh racism uh, you know makes it more interesting makes it a real world for me but that one never got a second season that was a real shame i don't remember the name more battles And then, of course, you have the, the one-shots that won't ever get a second season. Um, I don't remember the full title of the anime. There was one I really, really liked. Uh, something with the saint. So basically, anime of our fantasy world is in trouble. And they summon the saint from our world. Uh, but two show up. And... Uh, a lady who works, uh, you know, a normal job in the office and a young high school girl. And the high school girl is basically labeled, okay, she, she's special, she's strong. She'd she be the <laughs> the very special person who's going to save us. But And the other woman is basically just ignored and she goes to, you know, do her own thing. She's pretty happy there. She can do, a, she, can, she can learn magic and, you know, make potions and everything's going well. And obviously there's like turned it. It, I mean, it's obvious from the beginning that she is actually the saint. But yeah, it's uh, that one was very good. Um, very adult compared, and not in a, a, a naughty way, but adult teams compared to many other animes. Where usually the characters are all from high school, you know. But that one was really good because, you know, she, she's there, she's stuck. She's pretty happy with it. She, she didn't like her job much. She didn't have family. And she starts building her life, meeting people, getting a job. She, you know, she meets someone. It's actual realistic romance instead of over the top nonsense. It's, it was so refreshing. I re rewatched it later. <laughs> oh, Reincarnate is a slime. I think there are two animes I've watched more than once, and that's one of them. That's the other one. I just mentioned the first one. Yeah. Reincarnated the slime is oh, honestly my favorite. Because it starts out very you know, simple and but the world building, my goodness. Uh, you need to switch the machines off at a time. Ah, oh, that might cost it. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's only one. It should only be one box, though. 
And usually I don't watch the amount of beer available, it just stops on its own. Because I'm just on the crane <laughs> doing stuff. And yeah, I also watched the uh, older animes, but yeah, could I recommend them now? They're such a different style. I don't know if I would even enjoy them if I rewatched them now. No, Visions of Escaflone. Um, the old gems. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to continuously come back to see how much beer was left. And that's the thing. It's okay. Come on now. Nope, he's going on a walk. Don't do that. Hmm. There's probably a different type of beer under there again. Sometimes just a box of lager will show up and it would be like magic. <laughs> Is this the last one? For yes, okay. That was one truck. We still have another truck. In the meantime, our beer truck is filling up. I do wish they would click together when I like drop it with the with the crane. No, it doesn't. Oh yeah, that that's that could help. Yeah. Especially if you could choose to turn it on. There you go. It's the sound when the beer is almost running low. Or when it's running low, almost out. Come on, in there. There you go. I'll put it in the suggestions. And send it to the dev. Oop. I made a note. Topple over on here. Oh, so it didn't get the gunk, yeah. But yeah, especially with stronger spirits than beer, you would have to be careful. Because you don't want the the head or the tail, as I think it's called. I've played too many brewing games, I think. <laughs> for moonshine and for, for all kinds of stuff. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's I, there's obviously just one game. Um, what's it called again? That really deals with the the different types of tanks, and you have the the cold and the the war uh, the, the heated tank, and and the, that one dealt with the heads and tails. Oh, what was it called again? I played it quite a bit. In, well, I played it on the channel once or twice, but I played it afterwards. Yeah, that's true. In beard, it's the, it's the ending. You don't want the, the drap on the bottom. Sometimes you still have the drap in a bottle. See? Suddenly Lager shows up. Which is Richard Brothers. Bind them. Now we have two bottles left over. That shouldn't be possible. Uh, it says two liters, but it usually means that one other machine emptied. Yeah, there you go, zero. I think I'm throwing it back on the same palette. Let's combine this so we can have room for the new bottles. There you go. Did you guys come from? There you go. Uh, you know, the next batch should be oh is it not done yet no it's just up to brewing oh slow they're too slow. Oh, too hard. I wanted to hit that one. weird that some I can walk through and some I can't. I'm just falling to the ground. There we go. No, I didn't mean to talk to you. Go away. Oh, now he's stuck. He's stuck. Hmm? Was there something with this stream? Hold on, hold on. Could be that you have a little unstable internet connection and YouTube turns down the settings on you.
Okay, let me help you out there, buddy. There he goes. <clears throat> Oh. <laughs> Come on now. It's, it keeps going back on the the old pallet if I do it too fast. Just making some space for another batch of grain. We have in storage over there. Okay, nothing really empty. <laughs> One lost back there. Actually. Okay. Stop, uh, stop booping into each other. This is a little frustrating here and there, because I like the looks. Come on, get out of my way. I'm trying to line them up, and every time I pick up something, it uh, it, it hits something I don't want to move. We really need to pick it up in the middle now to make sure it doesn't do that. Grain in the front here. Hopefully they'll start picking that up. A lot of hops here. We also need grain. And malt. Good night, Josh. Okay, there we go. We can let that empty out a bit before we start uh, working on the storage. Let's get these bottles going. We can start the next batch. Actually, we could uh, sell this beer first. Too. out of the way. I clearly need to sell some pallets as well. I have way too many. Oh, that one clicked. Interesting. Mm, space for... Again, a full... A uh, full car and one pallet left over with a little bit on it. Um. Yeah, you know what my problem is with all the isekai is that their names are so similar, and that one is. Yeah. It's like what I said today, that uh, there's a game coming out called Dealer Simulator. Now, it looks pretty good. But if uh, you have any, any idea how many names have Dealer Simulator in it for games? Mm. I don't think I know that one. Unless the uh, anime art was different. Oh wait, I'm on the wiki. I need to... My anime. That one 
very familiar. Oh no, I did watch that one. Yeah. I It's about uh see as long as we don't mix them up, that is. That one was pure wish fulfillment, and if you watch it like that, it's very enjoyable. You don't need you don't take it too seriously. That one was good fun. It's basically guys, you know, he goes to high school, he's bullied, he's overweight, he's ugly. Um, and he finds out that the house his grandfather left him, and that his parents hate him, his siblings hate him. It's basically just drama all around. And he's left the house by his grandpa, and he finds a door to another world. And obviously he becomes, like, instant superhero. And Well, I won't spoil anymore. It's a good one. I liked it. But watch it as a, as a wish fulfillment anime, not a serious one. Because basically what he finds, uh, or, you know, he gets, like, super weapons and all that. And whatever he... He, he get, gathers from the monsters in the in the fantasy world. He can take back with him uh, to get money in the real world. So suddenly he, he he's, he's like extremely buff. He's handsome. He's popular. He's rich. <laughs> I love it. It's great. It's it's done in a very fun way. I like it. All right. I should uh, actually sell this beer here. Yeah. Uh, but what's it again? IPA, right? I think it's, I think everything we're making right now is the IPA. Yes. I think we should have multipliers for it. 13,000 is 86. Yeah. The multiplier stopped working again. Even though I have the one right here. Oh well. Uh, once the next batch is done, I guess I should just delete all the recipes again. And uh, see if that helps. Oh, right. Thanks, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> I had to think there. That one is going. This one is mashing. still need to watch some time and I'm almost ashamed to, me to say that I haven't watched it. It's uh, Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> Mostly considered the best anime ever made. But I never... I never got to it. I mean, here on the on TV, we didn't have a lot of animes. Like, uh, I think, well, if you're being literal about it, like, Candy Candy was officially an anime. Um, Alfred Chidoka's Quack. Quack? I guess Quack would translate better. Um, officially an anime. It was made in Japan by a Japanese animation studio. There's like Dutchies clutching their pearls like, oh my god, that was... A yes, it's an anime. <laughs> Honestly, one of the best cartoons ever made. I'll, I'll just call it a cartoon because really it's... Yeah. It's also one of the Dutchest cartoons ever made. Uh, 
Uh, no, I have never played Drug Simulator 2, and I've gotten offers for other kinds of games that deal with that subject, and I'm just not sure. So here's the thing, a lot of people stream it, right? So you think it's fine, but I'm just not sure it would be, you know, good for the algorithm to, to work with a game named like that. But I'm not sure about it. I never played one either. Also, you know, as a Dutch here, I already deal with a lot of assumptions concerning soft drugs, as we call it. Almost 50 likes, Rob. Almost there. Let's, uh, I think this would be a perfect time to start the beer factory giveaway of today. Oh yeah, Stephen, I, I saw that one. Sorry, I just... <laughs> if you ever want to send me a message on Discord, that's fine, but please just say more than just hi. Because <laughs> I will assume, assume you're a scammer. <laughs> uh oh. I get too many of those. And they're either like a, a naughty site or a scammer. So, sorry if I ever miss your messages. <laughs> Say more. But yeah, giveaway going on right now for Beer Factory. Type an exclamation mark raffle to get in the group. Hold on. My page isn't refreshing for the giveaway. It happens. There we go. Okay, now I can see you. Chat back. Boop. If you do win, say something in chat so I know you knew you won and send me a message on the Discord telling me you won. And I'll send you a key. I still have to play Cooking Simulator. I have that game. It looks very good. Also want to do more Kebab Chef. Uh, Chef's life looked good too. Lots of cooking games. And I, I enjoy them because I also enjoy cooking uh, in, in real life. When I make time for it. Before I get the evil eye from behind me. <laughs> kebabs. Yes, kebabs. All the kebabs. I kebab, you kebab, we all kebab. Yeah, apparently there's uh, quite a big... I'll just sell this one. I know that we're bought in the same beer soon, but I'll just sell this separately with some of these pallets so we can get rid of them. Um, but here in, in my house, the, the kebab kebab is a bit of a running gag because... We used to live in the center of Amsterdam and, you know, whenever it's King's... Well, back then it was Queen's Day, now it's King's Day because, you know, the Queen gave up her throne for the King, her son. So... Uh, is this a full stack? Yeah. So we, we were walking all through the city as we always do on that day because, you know, it's a party, it's a big party. And we came home and the pizzeria that was below us was actually making uh, kebabs uh, in, in front of his pizzeria. So he had a table outside with a grill and uh, he had uh, bread and lettuce and everything ready. And he was just <laughs> selling that from in front of his restaurant. And, and we just, well, we know him. I mean, we order pizza there and you know we always called downstairs and then we came down to pick it up but, you know you know you, you get to know the restaurant below your house let me put it like that 
So, and I miss those pizzas. It's never been the same since we moved. Because they were always super hot, and whenever it gets delivered, you know, it's cold. Colder, colder, I should say. Okay, I think we, uh, we got rid of enough pallets here. Oh, that one's not full. Ah, it's fine. So, in any case, he was standing there yelling, kebab, kebab. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of an ongoing joke, because we had several kebabs there. It was very good. Because <laughs> we had been walking all morning and we always go home before the real crush starts. Because after 1 p.m. you do not want to be in the inner city unless you like crowds. And I'm talking about shoveling through the streets crowds. It's, yeah, it's ridiculous. We don't, by the way, we don't enjoy that. Oh, you know what? I think all the all the pallets I've moved, I can't walk through. The ones I could walk through were the ones I hadn't moved yet, and I've moved them all now. So, but yeah, that's my history with the <laughs> with the Bob on King's Day, Queen's Day. It was Queen's Day. Just put it there. Oh. Too soft. There you go. Wait, it's two miles away, but it still burns your fingers. Lucky. They must have a way to keep it hot in uh, in the car. See, here usually uh, places are very close together, like, because um, the website we use <coughs> to often to, to order things is a site that works with... Uh, the, the restaurants give, can give up postcodes they will deliver to. So they'll only do, you know, things that are close by. Post postcodes that are close by. So distance is usually not a thing, so a lot of them don't have ways to get things, you know, to keep things hot in the car. Which honestly means often that unless you pack it really well, it's gonna kind of be a bit cool. Especially pizzas, because they're just in a cardboard box. Come on. Me 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 want to poop in there. You know, if we order ribs, it'll uh they'll pack it up really well. Makes a big difference. There. Okay, so they're still taking from the palace they can't really reach, so that's good. Yeah, those bags aren't very common here because the distances are so much smaller. Especially in a city like Amsterdam where I have choices out of so many restaurants to order from. It, uh, also, if they, they take care of a too big an area, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. They won't be able to do that. It's a small restaurant. Oh, oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, I picked up a couple that were only four high. Might as well fill those up there. One of the biggest problems with uh, ordering food <clears throat> here, and I try not to do it too often, we generally uh, cook. Um, the biggest problem is that uh, it's happened a couple of times now that a restaurant will start out strong. There was one Mexican place that had just like, good tacos and burritos and, and things like that. Only thing that wasn't good was the, the fries, but hey, what do you expect, right? <laughs> And so it was ju had just opened. We ordered there. It was good. Good ingredients. Lots of food. And then we ordered again a time, sometime later, a month later or something. And it was just horrible. So what happens is that they get so busy they can't handle it. And they'll start, like, cutting costs on ingredients too and things like that. And it just goes down the drain. Get rid of that one. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> little hiccup there. Let's clean up a little here because they always drop their stuff. Do I still have a pallet here? I do. The hell? Where the hell did you guys come from? Are they... Wait, what? They're all exactly one layer of grain. I'll take a picture for the dev. Um... Okay, this is gonna be... They must be falling to the floor over there, respawning here, and then falling to the floor again. I can't see any other way this this would be happening. The hell? It's a magical palette. Yeah. Well, let's uh, make this uh, two palettes instead of six, shall we? Five, not six. But yeah, that's that's weird. Come on. Oh, that's right. Oh no, that's too late. They click together now. I need one pallet over there uh, for those hops, because they can't pick it up without there being a pallet. I don't know. It must have been uh, full, and then they just drop what they're doing. Same with this. Excuse you. Go in there. more boxes of yeast lying around yes so they're filling the shelves they're all grabbing a box of yeast to put in the shelf someone puts in the last box and the rest just drops it on the floor it happens a lot so sometimes you need to come down here and clean it up okay looking good now let's get back to weird grain that's on the appeared Yeah, uh, Spud Gun, I have one better example of when that happened. So there was an Italian place near me. Uh, it was a luxurious place, right? You, you're talking about fresh squid and uh, handmade pastas and meat dishes. And it was, we, we ate there once. It was very expensive, but they had very good wine and 
it was very good. So then for a special occasion, we said, okay, we're going to take my mom. I don't know why I'm taking this downstairs. <laughs> we just need to put it here. I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention. So I took my mom and her boyfriend at the time. Uh, long time boyfriend, though, but not to get her anymore now. Um, I'm trying to push myself in a way that I can make this corner, but it's not really working out for me. There we go. So well, we took them there to uh, to eat for a special occasion, and it was awful. Like I'm talking about, I had to switch plates with uh, my mom's boyfriend because he he couldn't eat the food because the pasta was too hard. Um, well, the wine was good, so we had eventually we had a good time, but <laughs> no, that's not how it's supposed to go. Oh, it was bad. And then later, um, the said boyfriend told me that because, you know, the same, they had been in the newspaper for their excellent food and such. And that was still in the window. And it was like, what the hell is going on? But eventually my mom's boyfriend, uh, Ari, um, he told me that he f actually ran into the old owner of the place. And so, he, you know, he told them, like, yeah, that we ate there. It was horrible. Yeah, he sold the place. But they kept all the refuse in the window and just kept the name and kept it as, as being the same restaurant. But it wasn't. It was awful. So the old owner actually forced them to remove everything from the windows and such. Oh, it was so bad. It, and still st the same price, right? Such a waste of money, that. I don't mind paying a bit more for quality, but uh, I don't go overboard. Honestly, I should... Maybe... I, I was quite young back then. Maybe now I would go back and ask for a refund. Or actually just send the food back and leave without paying. If, you know, as if, you know, I'm, I'm 20 years older, I would do that. It's quite a difference. How you look at things. Well, this was crunchy, Steve. El Dente is not crunchy. Trust me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do like my pasta a bit softer than El Dente myself. But I can certainly deal with El Dente. This wasn't it. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Send Curly off to the service, right? Yeah, that's, that's how you do it. Forklift operator simulator. It can be. I've, I've done my very best not to make it that. Uh, to add a lot of workers. I think a couple are stuck here. I don't know why you guys brought that box up here. Any more mess upstairs? No, it doesn't look like it. I think he was stuck. Let me uh, reset him. Back to work. Oop. Okay. That's cleaned up. Let me take some of these uh, pallets upstairs. Giveaway still going on. Two more minutes on that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean... When you're in your early 20s, most people, I mean, I can't talk for everyone, of course, would be a bit nervous to speak up in a very fancy restaurant. But at this age, I would be like, I'm paying you a lot of money for a plate of pasta. It better be damn well good for me to pay that amount for a plate of pasta. Honestly, if I were to go now, I wouldn't even order pasta. I would probably order something else. Pasta with strawberry ice cream. Oh, yeah. I guess if you don't add the tomato sauce, that would be fine. Yeah, we don't... 
we don't really have a good Italian place nearby. We have a very good Turkish place. And honestly, I prefer that myself. Because they're, you know... A lot of times you give them a good fryer and a good grill, you get a good meal. Uh, actually, no, that, was, that guy was from Egypt. Oh man, he was the best deep fryer I've ever met. He had, he had a little snack bar um, next to the pizzeria that was below our house. Unfortunately, the owner was the pizzeria and they eventually pulled that. They removed the snack bar and pulled the area in with the restaurant. So we lost that snack bar, which was... I get it, he wanted more space, but that was such a popular snack bar. And then we didn't have anywhere to get snack food anymore. Which we didn't do often, let me be clear. We're talking about, you know when we do do that but yeah he was really good at that <laughs> it makes such a difference right elf is a bad influence on you what's what's elf uh yeah sorry you can't win the same game twice for me if you already won a game Can I add more brewing stations? Uh, sure, but I, with three, I always have one tank empty, so. Also, the reason I haven't started a new brew right now is honestly because I'm not getting the, the multipliers that I can see here. So I sold an IPA, as you can see, they're all on zero. So I didn't get any extra money for it. So I think maybe I should do the same thing again with deleting all my recipes and making new ones. But they're currently still waiting on this one. So to do that, I'd have to bottle these two tanks or delete them, but I think that's a real big waste of ingredients at this point. A coffee, right. Uh. Elf, elf. Was that the guy, uh, the the one where a human gets raised as an elf? Uh, what's his name? Will Ferrell? Is that the one? Oh, hello. Uh, the 24 clicker works fine for me. So, I don't know why it wouldn't for you. Here, if I go to the... See? If I hold shift, it'll just give me 24. Mine just works too. Spaghetti with maple syrup. Oh my god, it's just... It's just getting worse now. Just add vanilla ice and be done with it. <laughs> Yeah, the popularity logic, the recipe logic, everything. Uh, I agree. Okay, that's all unloaded. Let's see who won. Spud! Spud gun won. I do not think you've won before. Right. Got to open my game key file before I start. Sorry about that. I've given so many keys away, it's great. Something it doesn't surprise me that only six people joined in here. Alright, I'll put your name Spudgun right after this key. If you could send me a DM on Discord, that would help me a lot. Because then I know for sure it's you. And I'll send you a key, uh, well, right after the stream in just a little bit. Uh, 
because I think this is honestly a very good spot to end it. Maybe we might be able to get to 50 likes. We're so close. <laughs> yeah, in that case, I recommend if it's just not working for you when it's working for other people, I suggest making a, um, like a, well, a, a bug report would probably do it. I don't know if a ticket would, in this case, would be very important. But yeah, it does help a lot. Hey! I was able to walk through it again. Really, the logic escapes me here, to be honest. So... I was gonna say we can walk through pallets that things have been taken off on, but... I can walk through this one too, and that one is full. It's both brush malt, it's really weird. <laughs> well, I'm a ghost sometimes, <laughs> clearly. Yeah, I think this is just the perfect place to end it, because uh, we're currently waiting on uh, the, the beer to finish fermenting so we can bottle it uh, we got bottles ready this is well no this is less than two trucks we're gonna have to buy more it's <laughs> the bottles are driving me nuts we do have a lot of grain ready so that's good yeah, bit too late with that shot hold on Hold on, I want a good shot with the workers. Uh... Ah, he turned around just... No, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> no pasta flavor, good. 49 likes. One, one more. Can we have one more for the 50? That would be a great way to end it for today. Uh, I'm going to be playing another simulator that looks... Well, similar as in it is first person. Yes, there's 50. Thank you very much. 50 likes. That's awesome. Uh, so, Supermarket Simulator. There are currently two upcoming names, games named Supermarket Simulator. For um, This one is made by Nocta Games. There's also one by Live Motion, which is apparently coming later. The demo came out, uh, well, last week, but I just haven't had the time. Uh, so we're going to be doing it today. And uh, it'll be starting in... Uh, yeah, 40 minutes, right? Yes. So I hope to see you all there. Don't go anywhere. I'm taking you all with me to that stream. If you're interested. But it's a first-person supermarket sim. Uh, it looks a lot like Trader Life sim, which I uh, had a lot of fun with. So I'm hoping it's similar. <laughs> Supermarket sweep. No, that's a different game. But uh, yeah, I'm just comp just explaining that there's two games with the same name, so you don't mix them up. I linked it in the description in case you wanted to be sure which one is which. I'll probably play both. I don't know how to <laughs> how the hell to do that on the channel, but we'll see how it goes. One of them is gonna have to change their name. <laughs> oh well, I don't know who was first. It's none of my business. It's not my business, literally. So, oh, for one, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for over 50 likes. Next time, um, I'll try to do the recipe reset again. See if that fixes the multiplier again. Uh, that's going to be a little... Yeah, I'm going to have to see when I'm going to do that. Because I really want to do more Kebab Chef as well tomorrow. Yes, the supermarket sim. Uh, and, and I have a key for Enshrouded, so I want to play that too. It looks like a lot of fun. But for now, we're moving on to Supermarket Sim. I will see you all in 40 minutes. And if not, I will see you next time. Either way, it's going to be next time. What am I saying? No. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>